Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Node.js on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can download Node.js. So just open your favorite browser and search for Node.js and the first link which will appear here will be from Node.js.org. So we are going to just click on this link. Now at the time of making this video, you can see the latest version of Node.js is 15.14.0. And the latest LTS version is 14.16.1. I generally choose the LTS version. So I'm going to just click on this option, which says 14.16.1 LTS, which is going to download the MSI file for the Node.js. So once this MSI file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this MSI file and I'm going to minimize the browser. And you can uh, see this installation wizard for your Node.js. So I'm going to just click on next here. Uh, you can read the license terms and conditions and then click on accept and then click on next. This will be the location of your Node.js installation. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next and then click on next. And on the next window, you can see uh, this uh, message which says tools for native modules. Optionally install the tools necessary to compile native modules. So I will definitely recommend you to check this checkbox, which is going to automatically install the necessary tools. And also it's going to install a tool called Chocolaty, which is very good utility and you can use this uh, tool to install many other softwares also right so no harm in it i'm going to just click on next here and then click on install and now i'm going to click on yes which is going to start the installation process which is going to take few seconds so just wait for a few seconds until the installation is finished so once the installation of node.js finishes on your windows 10 operating system you will be able to see this kind of message which says Node.js has been successfully installed. So you can just click on finish button and this is going to open this kind of terminal. And because we have chosen the option to install the additional tools, it's going to just wait for us to press the enter button. And when I press the enter button, it's going to start the installation of the additional tools, right? So you can uh, just wait for the installation of the additional tool for node.js and now you can just click on yes here which is going to open the powershell and here you just need to press enter and it's going to just uh, use the chocolatey uh, installation to install the necessary tools right so you can see it's downloading this chocolatey first of all and then once this uh, tool is installed it's going to download the additional Node.js tools. So you can leave this window uh, like this. You can just minimize it. Don't close this window. And we can already move to uh, the testing of Node.js. So when you click on this Windows uh, icon here, you will be able to see this Node.js command prompt here. Also, you can see the Node.js uh, option here. Both the options are going to open the command prompt. So when you click on Node.js command prompt, it's going to open uh, the command prompt like this. Let me just uh, just change the font size so you can uh, see uh, everything in bigger font, let's say. So I'm going to just click on OK and the font size has been increased, right? So here you can just type Node and then press Enter, which is going to open the node REPL. So this kind of node REPL is very useful when you want to quickly test some commands and even you can uh, test more complicated stuff. So for example, I'm going to just write uh, console.log uh, here and inside these parentheses, I can add either double quotes or single quotes and then I can just type hello world here and then press enter, which is going to just print hello world. Also, you can do some uh, basic arithmetic operations or you can import some modules here and test those modules. So everything is possible using this 
terminal. Also, if you want to open your Windows 10 command prompt, you can just right click on the Windows icon here and you can open the PowerShell from here. And in the PowerShell also, you can just go to the properties and then you can change the font size from here. And now you can just write uh, node and then press enter which is going to open the node uh, REPL utility also here in your PowerShell. Or if you want to test this command in the command prompt of your Windows 10, you can just type CMD, which is going to give you this command prompt option. You can just click on this command prompt and then type node here, which is going to once again open this kind of node REPL environment which means you can test your Node.js on the command prompt also. And here also you can change the properties and then make the font size bigger. And now you can see the font size in a bigger font. Now here you can press Control C in order to come out of your Node REPL here. So you can see when you press Control C, it says press Control C again in order to exit. You can once again press Control C and then you are out of the Node REPL environment. Also, you can uh, type dot .exit to exit out also. So when I type uh, Node once again, when I want to exit out of the Node, I can just write dot .exit, which is also going to cancel the Node REPL environment, right? And by the way, if you are confused what is REPL, REPL. REPL stands for Read, Evaluate, Print, Loop, which is essentially an interactive shell which processes the Node.js expressions and commands. So this is how you can use Node.js in the command prompt. Now generally when you want to write a Node.js code, you obviously need some kind of editor or IDE to write your Node.js code. I generally use Visual Studio Code for developing my Node.js applications, but you can choose any other IDE or editor of your choice. But for now, what I'm going to do is, I don't have any installation of any kind of editor here. So I will show you if you don't have any editor on your Windows 10 operating system, then also you can uh, just uh, write your Node.js code but it will not be very convenient, I would say. So just go to the folder where you want to uh, create your Node.js file, and then you can just click on view here, and then click on uh, file name extension. So just check this option, which is going to allow you to uh, view the file extensions, right? Now here, right click, and then you can click on new, and then you can just click on text document and you can see that this document is created with a dot txt extension right so i'm going to just change the name of this file as hello.js file so you generally write the node.js code in the dot js files so i'm going to just press enter and on Windows 10, it's going to give you this kind of warning. I'm going to just click on yes here, which is going to create this uh, hello.js file. Now you can edit this file by just right clicking on this file and then click on edit. And here you can uh, just search for the basic hello world node.js uh, program online. On the node.js uh, website also, I'm going to just put this link in the description in the getting started guide you will be able to see uh, this sample code which you can test right so i'm going to just copy the sample code here and then i can just paste this code here Bas basically what it's going to do is it's going to uh, start your server on your uh, local host and on your port 3000 you just need to know uh, this here. So just press Control S or you can just click on uh, the file option and then click on save. Once the project is saved, just close this file. So here go to the folder in which your hello.js file is there and then press shift key 
and then right click in the same folder which is going to allow you to open the command prompt or the PowerShell in the same folder uh, where your hello.js file is there. So just choose this option which says open PowerShell window here or you will uh, see open command prompt uh, here, right? Both options are okay. And now here you just need to write this command node and then the name of the file which is hello.js, right? And then press enter which is going to start your Node.js server on this IP address and this port, which is essentially localhost 3000. So once again, you can go to your web browser and then just type 127.0.0.1 and then colon 3000 and then press enter, which is going to show you hello world. That means your Node.js server is working fine. And this is how you can write your Node.js code and execute the .js file. This is how you can download and install Node.js on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.